Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Welcome to my hectic life. <laughs> okay, um, today is, let's see, today is Tuesday, but it's like, <clears throat> it's Tuesday feels like a Monday, if that makes sense. So it feels like the Manic Monday Syndrome, but yet it's Tuesday. So welcome to my hectic life. Um, I wanted to talk about this hair mask. I know definitely I've talked about it before. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, I love the Giovanni hair products. Their price point is economically affordable. It's not off limits to any of us. And I like that. But what I feel like is they're good quality products. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Hair care is my name. It's my game. It's one of my three professional level jobs that I have. I have three jobs. I am ridiculously <laughs> busy. It is... It is extreme. Okay, but anyhow, um, I love their products. They're cruelty free. They're not test to animals. There's just a billion reasons why I rebuy, repurchase, spend my money with this brand over and over and over and over. Um, I like to buy them from Vitacast.com. If I don't buy them there, I buy them from Swanson's Vitamins.com, LuckyVitamins.com, but mostly Vitacast.com. Basically, they just have the best price point and uh, cheaper prices, you know. And uh, this is really good stuff. I love this hair mask. I've definitely probably mentioned it before. I know I've had to have. It's a rebuy, a repurchase, a reusage. I buy it over and over. Some people say Holy Grail products. I don't really like that word, Holy Grail. I don't know. I don't know why that word is just mm, peculiar to me. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It, it, sometimes I even think of like Monty Python, the Holy Grail, all that, but I don't know, whatever. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of words that go around. I hear a lot that I don't even like those words, but sometimes I still say them. Okay, so this is the Giovanni. This is the uh, two cheek, two chick, two cheek, two chick, two chick, two cheek, uh, cherry blossom and rose petals. This is the ultra lustrous, ultra lustrous soothing hair mask. It says uh, pamper stressed hair. And let me show you. Let's just zoom in on it here if we can. Can we? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Are we zooming? Probably not. I have to move the cam. <laughs> okay. Now we're zooming, I think. Okay. Okay. Deep conditioning. It locks in hydration. It says delivers uh, moisture. It says uh, and elasticity to hair. What does that say? Re what? Rebond, split ends, and something, and protects. Protects future damage. Okay, um, I'm not really, I, hey, I am not going to agree with the last statement or the last claim there when it says rebond, split ends. Absolutely. I mean, hey, Giovanni, I love you. I love your company. I love your products. It is what it is, but I'm going to disagree with that because let me tell you guys, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Hair care is my name. It's my game. It's one of my three jobs. I tell you what. And, I mean, there's a lot of products that are really fantastic for split ends, but do not believe anything literally bonds the ends of the hair back together. No, 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 no. A hair trim and a haircut is the only solid cure for split ends, honestly because there is no product. I mean, I love, love this product. I love this hair mask. This is a beautiful product. I will say that a million times over, but that kind of rubs me the wrong way that actually that last claim that the product made to us consumers saying that split ends are mended and bonded. I call it BS. Okay, so with that out of the way, I still love the product. This is a really, <laughs> I, you know, I, when I see BS, I call BS. You know me. I'm truth, love, honesty, and reality. Always. Never misleading. Okay. So, but what I do like about this is a really good deep hair conditioning mask. Hydration, hydration. It's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. It is very soothing. It's very smoothing. It helps my uneven hair texture. It helps my uneven hair texture. It evens up my texture. Helps my hair uh, lay better. Now, it doesn't make my hair like limp, limpity biscuit flat, but it makes it lay better. It, it tames it. It helps the flyaways. It helps the frizziness. It helps tone that frizziness down. It helps my uneven hair texture, which I love. Um, it has a really nice smell to it, a little bit of aroma to it. Let's see if I can describe the smell. 
it is a little bit of a, mm, I don't know, that's really, it's not really a cherry smell, but a, like a, it's a cross between a strawberry and a cherry smell, if that makes sense. But I do, oh, I'm, I do like the smell. I'm okay with the smell. It is low-key. It's not overpowering. It's not too perfumey. It's not too perfumey. It's not too, too blasting with odor. You know what I mean? It's not too overly fragranced. I love that because I have crazy bad sinus problems. I've got to talk about the smells and talk about the fragrances and the odors and be as descriptive as I possibly can because a lot of people have bad sinus problems like I do. I got to talk about that, but I get no irritation from the smell, which I love that. Um, it's just a really good deep hair conditioning mask. Um, I do have to leave it on for at least a minimum of 15 minutes. If I can leave it on 30 minutes, I'm even better off. Now, if in the event I can leave it on one hour, I am silky gorgeous, out the door, beautiful. You know what I mean? If I can actually allot myself one hour with this in my hair and on my hair, then it just it penetrates better into the cortex, into the hair shaft. It, it hydrates better. It moisturizes better. And it... It, it makes my hair like so touchable and then I want to just sit and, and just for the next three or four days just like touch my hair you know what I mean uh, lately I've been washing my hair I've been stretching it you guys uh, typically normally I go every third day now we are in the winter months right now the winter time you know and and uh, I, I don't sweat as much during the winter and you know there's a lot of factors factored into that I've thrown in an extra day and I've stretched my in-between hair washings to actually the fourth day so a little much for me uh, a little bit of trouble getting used to that but I am I'm going with it I am working with it I'm dealing with it so I'm going four days in between shampoos which I'm good with it for right now like I said we're in the winter months and and my hair is not really showing much buildup or greasiness uh, nor am I sweating a lot either you know what I mean even even with workouts my workouts are still not um, it's hot and sweaty just because of the climate and the weather, right? You know, winter months. But anyhow, um, yeah, so like even on the fourth day when I go in and shampoo my hair on the fourth day, my hair still feels the leftover effects of this product. It still feels beautiful. It feels moisturized, silky, soft, smooth, nice. Now, keep in mind, I have color-treated hair. I have dry, damaged hair. I have long hair, thick hair, naturally wavy hair, unevenly textured hair. I've got highlighted hair, colored hair, chlorine damaged hair. I had a keratin treatment two and a half years ago that one of my friends did and she did a terrible job on my hair. But anyhow, bad keratin treatment. So I have to really rely on products like this that I know that I've used in the past. They work for me. I rebuy them. I like them. I love them. I want some more of it. Okay, guys, so it is what it is here. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. It feels like Monday. I feel like I'm going to go lay down, maybe. I love you. I thank you for watching. Take care. Big thumbs up. Hit that bell button down below. I love you. Bye, gorgeous.